Well, the exhibition includes 48 artists from different generations, different parts of the world, different backgrounds, different perspectives, and working across all media, whether it's Yan Pei Ming and painting, um, sculpture, video, installation, you name it. So it's an extraordinary array of artists. And what's fascinating is to think how one person, Michael Jackson, inspired all these different artists. It seems timely to do this exhibition nine years after he died and when the year in which he would have turned 60 years old. And I think we can now begin to think about Michael Jackson from a slightly more historical perspective and think about what he accomplished in terms of breaking down barriers, um, but also what he represented and symbolized to many different people. He has changed so much over the years that we all have our own idea of who Michael is and it depends on how old we are, what generation we're from, that we fixate on that. So I wanted to represent him, uh, I wanted to address that phenomenon uh, by obscuring his face so that you'll have to evoke the image that you have of him and that you'll think of him not as a celebrity but as a man of color from African descent. I think Spike Lee has a very interesting take on him, talks about him as being uh, a very influential black figure now, and, and particularly as him as a child looking at so, so very kind of prominent black figure. But he, because of his transforming nature of his own self and his own actual physical self through things, kind of, kind of almost went beyond that. He kind of went beyond gender and race almost in, in a strange kind of morphing through that process. And that's why the fascination I think for a visually based art is to kind of keep looking at him as a figure.
looking back, I haven't seen any human with that much talent, that much creative imagination in the music scene. And so I thought, he can't have, he could not have come here. And so I thought of Sun Ra, Sun Ra the jazz musician, who said he came from Saturn. So I figured Michael Jackson must be in that same lineage, and he came from the cosmos here.